This is the weekly edition from the MW254 Network. I'm Brighter Mutano. A warm welcome. On our top stories, it is that time of the year again. It's a special coverage of the 7th Paratina University graduation ceremony. Our team worked tirelessly and gathered insights from the graduating class and their families. And now we hear from the Vice Chancellor how far we are at starting the digital e-learning. Plus, from our Data Journalism Center, Philip Mumoki tells us why there has been an escalation in the number of graduates, unlike last year, and what that means. Our very own, Mitchell Mori got the chance to speak to our Chancellor on Education and its role in the creation of wealth for the continent. Remember, you can get in touch with me and some of my colleagues on Twitter. I'm at Brighter Mutano. We appreciate your time. Keep listening to our weekly episodes to find out more. Welcome to our coverage. This year, Karatina University celebrated the seventh graduation ceremony since the award of its charter. The ceremony took place at Karatina University Kagoshi campus on Friday, November the 1st, in an event that saw 1,552 students graduate. We start with Dennis Njoroge, who followed up a topic that was spoken a lot in the ceremony, the digitalization of learning. Some few challenges need to be addressed urgently. Key among them is the inadequate funding from the exchequer, diminishing students' enrollment, and the attraction and retention of highly skilled human resources. Father, the seventh graduation ceremony at Karatina University had guests from all walks of life, including members of political class, businessmen, and women. One of the special guests was Professor Isaiah Kendeke from the largest digital learning university in Africa, the University of South Africa. In his speech, he mentioned that one of the ways which local universities can make more resources is through globalizing and how this can be achieved is through the implementation of digital e-learning. Challenges. Our Vice Chancellor has talked about finances, but there is a lot of finance out there. If we can embrace our university into a truly global university 4.0, operating at the cyber level, we cannot be anything less. This has been one of the prospects of Karatina University. We have not started massification of education at Karatina University. We still are a medium-sized university where we are able to work together with uh, our lecturers and students very closely so that every student has access two lecturers at any time they choose to, to meet them. Massification uh, is supported by technology. If you have good technology, you have good connectivity, that may work. But here we are still having face-to-face -face, um, uh, 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 teaching and so that students are able to access lecturers wherever and whatever time they want to. However, we are working on a program where we are going to be having open and distance learning. And we have set up infrastructure because we have just had a fiber optic cable drawn to the university. We have just acquired a really good server. We are also going to be using the cloud where we are going to host our programs. University enrollment in Africa is at a meager 7% against the 70% youth population that uh, the total number of places that were declared by public universities and private universities was, you know, more than 250,000. And only 76,000 qualified to join university. So there's so much capacity in universities 
And I can tell you, even here at Karatina University, there's so much capacity. We are looking forward this year to receive the entire number of the capacity that we have. The success of digital learning can be seen, for instance, in the University of South Africa, which has enrolled well over 450,000 online students. In Kenya, Kenyatta University has enrolled over 10,000 digital students. Information is easily accessed through open access computer labs, digital workshops, telecenters, and online resources. Methods that have proven to prevent the stretch of resources in universities in Africa. I'm your reporter, Dennis N. Jeroge from MW254 Network. A big pat on the back to the hundreds that graduated this year. Now, what role does education play in the creation of wealth for the continent? And is it really necessary to go through the formal education in the first place? Well, these are some of the questions that our reporter, Mitchell Mori, put across to the Chancellor of Karatina University during the graduation day. It is important to note that Mitt spotted our Chancellor in a rare chance after the, after the Chancellor and his escort got stuck in a traffic congestion just a few kilometers outside the university for close to an hour, where he decided to leave his car and interact with the guests and parents who'd gotten stuck in the congestion together with him. The reason for this congestion is the incomplete road construction works. Here's how the conversation went. You know, there are, there are those enablers that help you to go forward. Just like money is not important, the only reason why money is important that gives you a stepping stone. Unakanyanga, unaruka. And the two, on its own, means nothing. But there's also the, 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 the backboard of your springing up. Otherwise, you will not get a chance without education. But the education gives you that chance. Yeah. I, I, I subscribe to President Mike Baki that all people should go to university. Oh, all. Let everybody be a thief with education, with their degree. Muizi wa degree ni better than muizi wa kuku. So, ignorance will not help us. Let everybody go to university, whether you get a job or not, that's immaterial. Yes. But let, let everybody go, including what? Uh, so, so, na watuala wengine, ata mutu wajue kuandika na kuweka kidole, Yes. So it's the solutions that we need to be looking at. Yes. Let me tell you, you given a chance, there is nothing you can't do. Live and vote journalism, there is nothing in this world you are on. And uh, do those people who are employed, eh? I'm happy, professor, you are not employed in Kenya. They are more miserable than those who have started their own enterprises. Think about it. When you go to a job, a special government job, do not think you have arrived. Hmm? If you think you are, have arrived, then you will suffer long. That's only an enabler to give you the basic. Yes. So that you go out and do other things that matter to your heart. Well, you can watch the complete conversation with the Chancellor. Vice Chancellor and the member of County Assembly Kirimukuyu Ward Madira constituency on an education special report with Mitchell Mori. Our very own Gloria Chebet together with Edna Ferrero spoke to families and graduates and sent us these reports. I'm Edna Terrero from the MW254 Network. Uh, so right now we are going to look for some students and ask them more about their experience in Karatina University and everything about what they have been doing for the past four years and what they are wishing for tomorrow. How has been your experience here in school? Okay, thank you. The, the, the journey has been good mm -hmm. since we joined here in the year 2015. 2015? <coughs> yeah. Okay, okay. We experience ups and downs. That, that is the nature of life. Yeah. We don't expect a smooth life. Mm. Uh, here, the climate here was not that favorable. 
but uh, with the time we came up, we came and adapt the climate. Mm -hmm. I'm standing right here at the Karatina University where hundreds of students have been awarded for their academic work that they've been doing here in months and hand. The atmosphere is filled with joy among many. Ladies and gentlemen, join me now as we listen to their success story in different and interesting angles. Ah, I can see a family right here, Peter Cheki. Yes. What do you, what can you say about today? Uh, today is actually a defining moment in my life and because I now have the power uh, to read, especially in the field of communication and public relations. Uh, and as you can see, I have a very lovely family. Everyone is learned here and they're the ones who motivate me every day to ensure that I work hard and smart. Okay, thank you. Yes. Ka, can you say something? How do you feel about your son graduating today? That's beautiful. It's excitement. Mm -hmm. It's a time we have been waiting for a long uh, period because, you know, the stock has been on. And, you know, he has been moving from uh, where I used to stay up the university, boarding public means, he's struggling all through. And at the moment we have come to the graduation, we are so grateful because, you know, when I've heard that he, power to do all that appertains to the degree in that upper level i was so grateful in fact the whole family is proud of peter for his good performance endurance in all the way obstacles you know hard dogs you know all the things that have been taking place this is the time we have now come to be more happy enjoy our day for graduation of our son peter and also you being his comrades having been you know together all the time, coaching each other. We wish you well, and the Kenya is big. So when you go there, use the knowledge you have been given, keep on, stoppage is not there for education, keep on moving, and then we'll see you reach the philosophy level. Thank you very much. I'm Joseph Cheki, father to Peter, Watenke, and the mother is here, and these are the sisters. Ah, beautiful. Mom, yes. how are you feeling today knowing that your son has been given the power to go conquer the world? Marvelous. Uh, say thank you because he has honored for these four years plus his family. So I, so Peter is blessed. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, the sisters. You, can you, do you have anything to say or to tell to Cheki and his friends? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited about this day, and I wish him the best in life. Yeah, and I hope he will go to greater heights in life. And you, yes. Yes, I'm too. very, very proud. I'm Nancy, and I believe in him, and I know he'll go so far because he has the ability to. And you, anything for Cheki? Yes, I'm my trader. Okay, he has been a blessing to me, and. Because <laughs> I'm in form, form three right now, I believe that I'm going to I'm going to do well and also work hard so that you can come to university. Okay, hey, thank you very much, Mr. Cheki. We wish you all the best in the world. Thank you so much. You've been a very good person. Yes. You've been a blessing. Yeah. Have thank a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, this is Philip Moki and welcome back. In today's century, they say that numbers speak. This is the MW254 network data Johnson Center. Now, let's start with staff publications. You might be aware that the number of publications made by institutions are used to gauge generally their performance. This year, 2019, there was a 20% drop in the number of, of staff publications which is from 89 publications in 2018 to 71 publications in 2019. Moving on to the biggest trends in career. This is the second year we are witnessing the drastic changes in the numbers of people who are opting for education and social sciences as opposed to business careers. Thank you, Philip. That's it from all of us here at MW254. Thank you very much for watching. Keep watching the MW254 network for some of the most insightful content. 
be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you love this episode bye for now